These are my big brains. The smell was really unsettling. Halfway through this whole episode, I started thinking, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> Hello food adventurers, I'm in Angers in France. Over there you have a river. I'm on a mission. I'm on my way to buy uh, brains. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy watching me eat it. Supermarkets in France are quite interesting. You may actually recognize my beloved Curé Nantais. Uh, basically, it looks like any meat section of a supermarket. But as you get closer, you see that you can find some beauties in this section, which is called Abba, which is anything that most people would not bring home to cook. But you can see that you've got some tongue, some heart, you've got kidneys, liver, Look at the size of this tongue. Look at my hand. This is the relative size. And of course, what I'm after today, which is brains. I think I'm going to take the pork because it's smaller. And if I don't finish it, at least I won't feel guilty about wasting food. These are my big brains. This is it. I'll see you in the kitchen. I'm about to cook my brains, not literally mine. But these, you can see that there are two sets of brains here and I'm going to apply my own recipe to make it delicious. What do you mean why am I dressed like this? This is the way I always dress when I cook, don't you? Oh, well, I thought you would give me some kind of Hannibal Lecter vibe, but I... I put about two liters of water on the stove to boil and I prepare the frying coating. Some disgusting foam starts floating up. Don't know what that is, but I'm not having it in my mouth. I didn't know I would be uh, put off by the smell. <laughs> I'm okay. apartment starts quickly filling up with a horrible smell. It's time to take the bits of brain out of the boiling water. I try and roll it in the frying coating. However, it is so slimy, so inconsistent that it doesn't really work out as I had planned. I pop the bits of brain onto the frying pan and I let the magic happen. It quickly turns to a greenish brownish kind of color. I'm going to let the uh, sort of tissue absorb all the fat, the foam, and uh, whatever else, and it will be time to have a taste. Right, here I am. Um, halfway through this whole episode, I've started thinking, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> <laughs> While it was cooking, the smell was really uh, unsettling. And uh, now that I'm looking at it, I may not have done a good job of actually cooking it and seasoning it. In any case, I have to try. So, behold. When I started this, I didn't know that I would feel this way. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, the 
texture is awful. Mm. Mm. Subscribe, like and share. I'm not squeamish, usually, but uh, today I might be. Um, it smells a bit like fish. Yeah, there's this fishy kind of taste. It also... Mm. Also, it's almost as if it's slimy in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Well, I can tell you right away, this is not one of my favorite things in the world. not bad but for some reason I can't shake off the thought of what it is and how it smelled while I was boiling it. Ooh. Okay well it's kind of special it's not for me um, if you do enjoy eating brains, let me know in the comments. If you have tried it and you didn't like it, just like me, also let me know. And if you'd like to taste it, go on. A bit of adventure won't kill you, will it? I don't think I'll be finishing this. I may have to try a better recipe someday. But in the meantime, this is it for me. I'll see you next time for more food adventures. Ah!